We are recording. Hello everybody and welcome to the latest episode of the Chronicles of Aromas. This is episode 8, I believe. When we last left off, the party after uh, interrogating their rat folk uh, prisoner and learning his name to be... if I can find the right... Age in my notes. Yep, yeah, that's it. Gerdrak, a bow drinker. They uh, proceeded to head to their newly discovered, more upper class tavern. On his way there, Darren had a encounter with a number of the guards of the inner city, and seemingly was captured for reasons unknown. So, we pick up, oh that's where we left off. You've all had uh, a long rest after having a night of drinking and uh, merriment in the, in the tavern, the crab and fish. Aside from you, Darren, you awake with a splash of cold water on your face. You cough and splutter as the water goes up your nose and you realise that you are currently being suspended upside down. Your, your arms are stretched out above your head and your legs stretched out as well uh, you're essentially on um, uh, one of those uh, torture devices I forget what they're called where uh, people would just leave prisoners just suspended upside down for days on end you uh, as your eye as your vision comes into focus you find yourself staring into uh, the face of the older man, uh, the one who spoke to you last night, um, you notice that he's wearing uh, extremely regal armour. Um, uh, his his armour, unlike uh, most, the majority of the guys that you've seen around uh, the city have been wearing. Um, Mostly dark armor, um, uh, with like little tints of red to them. Uh, this man is just completely in red armor, um, uh, and has a uh, long flowing, uh, dark uh, brown cape uh, attached to his shoulders. Uh, you see that he has a, uh, a cane uh, in his hand which he's currently leaning on he looks uh, he looks at you with what race is he? human human like all the guards in the city this man is a human um, middle aged around uh, late 40s to mid 50s uh, by your estimate Darren. All right. He uh, he looks uh, he looks at you and just simply smiles. Good morning. I hope you enjoyed your sleep. Okay. In what world would any of this be enjoyable? What the what the hell did I even do to you guys to deserve this? Listen, I, I haven't done anything. It is not what you have done it's what you could do the hell does that mean <laughs> well well you and your friends of have a great interest trust to those I represent We've been keeping an eye on you all for some time, and 
simply been biding our time. You were just the first one stupid enough to go off on your own. <laughs> Why the hell wouldn't... Okay. Was it really that dumb? Because, I mean, I was I was just going into the inner city to meet up with the rest of us. And why the hell... In what world would anyone think that, uh, yeah, if I go out alone, like, a group of fucking douchebag guards are gonna creep up behind me and knock me out and drag me into some weird-ass wherever the hell I am. <laughs> uh, you look around the, uh, the room and you see... Um... The room is dark, aside from a single torch in one corner. Uh, there is uh, essentially a um, a small trough uh, in that corner, and um, a bucket next to it. Um, you uh, also. Um, other than that, you are completely surrounded by stone and uh, the bars on the opposite side of the room to you. The man, um, ah, uh, the man, after what you've just said, simply chuckles to himself. <laughs> There's so much more going on in this city than you realize. Well, you. Why don't you enlighten me then? Why the hell is it that you and your fucking cronies felt the need to fucking knock me out and drag me over here? Well, well. That, I'm afraid, was just. simply the orders we were given. You, my friend, are going to play a very valuable role in events to come. All of your friends are, for that matter. But you most of all. <laughs> After all, the events can and hardly get started without you. Well, I'm not, uh, I'm not quite liking your, your tone here. Uh, is, is there anything I should be, be worried about? What, what events are you talking about? Oh, I would hate to spoil the surprise. You just stay here and don't try to escape. God fucking damn it. Believe me, you would be so much wiser to not try. Just wait here. Wait here for your friends to come rescue you. That's all I ask. Two things, though, right? So hypothetically speaking, let's say I do happen to leave, you know? What would happen then? If I get out? Well... I suppose we would just have to track you down. And if I skipped town? Mm. Wouldn't matter. We'd find you. And who's to say these friends of mine, and I, I use that word really loosely, it's, it's more of acquaintances, are going to come over here and uh, get me out of here. Because we, we had plans, we had, we had shit we were going to do. Yeah. Who say they even, how are you going to let them know that I'm even here? Oh, don't worry. All the necessary arrangements have been taken care of. And... I'm sure that they will come, if not for you, then for what you could provide. And he reaches, and with that he, um, he reaches up to his belt and produces a coin pouch. And you realize to, you, to your horror that he's currently holding your coin pouch. You motherfucker! <laughs> listen, listen, listen. All this other shit, I don't give a flying fuck about. It. It's not important, but you can't just go around taking people's money. That's that's just wrong. Really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. 
I understand you you have your orders, you know, you you have shit that you have to do. But like it, it doesn't have to be so or you, you guys don't have to be so harsh. Why am I dangling upside down to begin with? I can't just, you know, sit comfortably on the floor. Oh. Maybe you guys could give me a chair and my coin pouch back. Oh, well. The fact the your current situation is just purely for the amusement of of my friends, but in terms of your coin pouch, I'm afraid no. No. After all I need to make sure you don't leave. Okay. Alright. But let's say Okay, if you're gonna keep my coin pouch, you know, and you really shouldn't, I, I really think that you should hand that back. And you're right, I, I wouldn't leave without that. That that thing I've I've had it with me for all my life. It's, it's very valuable to me. Both emotionally and literally, because it has all my money in it. So if you have that, then why am I dangling upside down? Can't you just, you know, cut me down? Or fucking let me down or whatever? I mean even if your friends want me like this. And I don't quite understand why, considering I haven't fucking did anything to them. He just looks at you. Are you uncomfortable, my friend? Uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm implying here. It's not, you know, it's not fun dangling upside down. Hmm. I can imagine. I can imagine. However, I hate to inform you of this, but I'm under strict orders to make your time here as uncomfortable as possible. But why? Can you at least tell me why? Don't worry. Don't worry. The... Your time here won't be long. I promise. As long as your friends keep to the proper deadline, and when they get here, I promise you, your uncomfortableness will end. And I'll be getting my coin pouch back, right? Of course. Of course. And with, that, and with that, he turns and walks out of the room and closes the barred door behind him and locks it. Alright, I, I want to... Have a good morning. Straight. And he walks away. Carry on. on. Alright, um, I want to try maybe like... How, how secure are these ropes? They're not ropes. Oh, they are. They are, are you, uh, you are literally shackled in. God fucking damn it! Uh, you think I could maybe try to? How tight are they around my? Uh, around my... Um, they're pretty tight. Bear in mind they're having to keep you, uh, like head down. Uh, Is suspended he in the air. No, 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 he's clothed. <laughs> he's clothed. Aww. It would have been hilarious if he was completely stripped down right now. Uh, you're current. He's currently wearing all of his armor, but, um, most of his gear has been, uh, taken. Uh, his weapons, his coin pouch, obviously. Um. They oh, took um, his kid? Sorry? They took his child? No, I said kid. No, coin pouch. Yeah, that the <laughs> My baby. <laughs> so he didn't manage to hide anything, like uh, you know, a spare dagger somewhere else. Uh, he's told. Uh, make a investigation check for me, Darren, please. Alright. Okay. Fuck accident or accidentally fucking left roll twenty. <laughs> it's fine, it went through. Alright, what'd I get? 19. 19. Hey, 
Uh, you do manage to find, um, thankfully due to your, uh, just due to the way you are and the lifestyle that you live, uh, you're used to having to hide, um, equipment on you at all times, just in case the need arises. And you do manage to find uh, one of your lockpicks still hidden uh, within oh, your glove. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Um, can I try to pick the, the shackles that are... What, what's the you gotta get the lockpick exactly, first. first. Is it... Sorry? Sorry? Are my arm... Um, is it that both my hands and legs are bound, or am I just dangling from my legs? Uh, your hands are bound as well. Your arms are bound oh. as well. You can try to pick the lock, but it would be at disadvantage for the first one. Because right. obviously That's you're obviously. like having to bend your hand at quite an uncomfortable angle to do it. Alright, I'm gonna try to do that then. Eighteen. Okay. Um, you managed to get the pin uh, into the lock. You managed to twist it, and eventually you hear a small <coughs> and the shackle <coughs> comes off. All right. Um, now can I try the uh, the other ones? Yeah. Uh, just make a straight slide hand check for me. 25. Awesome! Uh, you managed to uh, pick the uh, um, lock on your other arm and then you managed to uh, hoist yourself up and uh, you pick the two on your legs. Uh, you fall relatively uncomfortably onto the stone floor but it's no worse than what you're used to. Um, you stand up, dust yourself off, and stretch your extremely painful joints after spending the entire night like that. I want to walk up to the the door, see if there's a. See if there's, actually, speak I want to look around the room. I want to look around the room. Sorry, I was fucking covering my mic. Uh, I want to look around the room and see if there's anything. Uh, I didn't notice. Okay. Uh, as I said, um, there's the uh, there's the bucket and the trough and the small torch in one corner. Um, but other than that, that's all you can see. By the way, when that guy was walking off, which way did he walk off to? Uh, he like... walked. He walked to his left. Okay. Uh, as you walk over to the bars, you see, um, in fact, I may as well just show you the map that I have prepared. Uh, hold on, I'm going to switch from uh, Discord on my phone to on my computer. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Want this one. Okay. So, David, you are just going to load. Uh, before you guys ask, the there are walls in between each of these different cells that you can see on the map. Um, I forgot to add that in. Walls or bars? Walls. Stone walls in between each of the cells and then there's uh, barred doors on the side facing towards the rest of the room. Where... Okay. 
All right. right. These things are. Uh, hang on, David. I'm just going to make your token controllable for you. Very good. All right. Uh, do, do, do. There we go. You should now be able to control it. Okay. Cool. I am... I don't see myself. Oh wait, there. Right. There, yeah. yeah. Alright. So, I want to move over to the door and maybe try to listen out to see if there's anyone nearby I can hear shuffling around. Okay, okay. Uh, you, uh, um, uh, you don't need to make a perception check, your passive perception is enough. Alright. You, uh, um, you do indeed hear, um, uh, what appears to be, uh, footsteps. Uh, hang on, I just realized you're in the wrong cell. There you are. Um, you do indeed hear, uh, the sound of muffled, uh, chatter and, uh, what sounds like footsteps coming from the, coming from down the hallway that you can see through the bars. Um, you don't see anyone nearby, uh, but you do see a door here and uh, that's about it in terms of notable things you see wait where did I hear the footsteps by the way uh, f from what you can tell uh, it would be on it sounds like it's coming from uh, the other side of the door all right it's just uh. sim it's just simply a s it's just simply a wooden door, and that's all it is. I'm gonna try to quietly pick the lock in front of me, or the for the door. Okay. The door. Okay. Um, make a stealth check and make a okay. slight hand check for me, please. Twenty six on stealth. Yep. And twenty three on sleight of hand. I should clarify that sliding hands for picking pockets, and as these tools are for picking locks, normally it wouldn't matter, but he has expertise inside of hand, so he's getting extra bonus because of that. Oh, so you have to use these tools, I thought. Your thieves tools would be a plus six, where your sliding hands would plus eight. Oh. Uh, oh well, <laughs> it doesn't matter, he still made it. Yeah. You hear... as the... as the gate opens. Yeah. These tools is one of the things you can take expertise in later. I think I already might have an expertise in. Uh, Maybe you, hand and perception. You're a thief, aren't you? Yeah. Pretty sure he already has it then. I'll get to level one at level six, I think. He gets two more. Okay. I'll have a look at it later. Ooh. Okay. Um Okay. The door clicks open. You open the door, I'm assuming? Mm-hmm. Wait. Uh, just another... Yeah, I wanna, wanna quietly open the door. Just crack it a little, actually, and peer through it to see if there's anything else I can see. Okay. Well, it's, okay. it's just simply a barred uh, cell door, uh, so you don't see anything else. Oh, but... well, shit. Um, I, yeah, I just opened it up then. Okay. As quietly as I can. Yeah, that's what the 26 was for. Well, the step check, sorry. You, ma you slowly open the door. You step out into the hallway. You look around. You don't hear any movement coming towards the door. Alright. I'm just um, make your way towards the door. Uh, first, I want to quietly check or peer into these these uh cells to see if there's anyone in there okay uh you look into each of the cells um you don't see most of them are empty save for the last one uh in which you notice um 
another man um, similar position to what you woke up in um, only f um, a half elf this is from the looks of him he doesn't seem to respond from uh, your approach mm. what would you like to do his eye as he's just hanging there eyes closed motionless so he uh, he might use his sleep right now or, or what or he just hasn't noticed what's going on uh, you can't tell from where you are currently okay. alright uh, say if I wanted to try to make myself sound no nah, that wouldn't work Those footsteps that were over here were they getting further away or closer? Or did he just um from tell? what from what you can uh gets further away, that gets closer, further away, closer. From what you can tell, it's just simply a guard patrolling. All right, that area. Uh, then I'm gonna I'm gonna try to whisper whisper the guy here. I'm just like, hey, hello. I'm just like trying to get his attention or something. There's no response. Huh. Uh, I want to pick the lock on this door. Okay. Uh, make a uh, check with these tools for me, please. Hey. Right. 23. Cool. The door opens. All right. You walk inside, you walk over to uh, the man, and okay. he's not breathing. You, um, it dawns on you, regardless of how you try to speak with him, this man is not going to respond. Ah, uh, is dead? Like, no pulse, or what? Yeah. Can I check his pulse? Okay. Well, shit. Uh, let me check to see if he has anything on him. Then. Okay. Uh, you don't find anything on him. However, as you um, as you look him over and uh, investigate this corpse, uh, as you put your uh, hand on his uh, chest, you feel uh, that it's damp. Uh, his shirt is sticking to uh, his chest and uh, the dampness is seeping through his uh, uh, shirt. What does it, is it like red? Like wh what is he wearing? Like what's is the it, color of it? Uh, he's just wearing, uh, he's just wearing normal. Uh, I mean color. Like, can I see yeah. what... Is it just darker there, or what? Yeah, it is. It's darker there. Indeed. Are there any lights horses in the room? Huh? What'd you say? Are there any lights horses? Yeah, there's a torch. Same as... Uh, it's the same uh, sort of layout as uh, your cell was staring. Hmm. There's another flight to... For you to notice, yeah. It's darker there. Uh, just make sure he's actually dead. I, I want to slap him, like like a light face slap. Just okay. see if he's not gonna gonna stir or anything. You tap his uh, cheek slightly. No response. All right. And can I see if there's a wound on his chest or something? Okay. Where it's damp or. You. Uh, you lift his. Um, uh, top up to uh, the damp spot uh, to find um, his chest has essentially been cut open. Um, it appears 
Uh, make a medicine check for me, please. Just very quickly before I go on describing. All right. Okay. Ten. Okay. Um, you don't have much uh, medical experience, however, it's pretty easy to tell uh, what's happened here. As you look at the wound, you notice um, his heart is missing. Jesus Christ, that's fucking brutal, dude. And you also notice uh, underneath the wound, carved into his skin, is a symbol. Um, a symbol that you recognize. Uh, the symbol of a skull with um, in a circle of uh, blood with uh, uh, the eyes painted on with blood. Is it that wait, wait. skull of Ogremar that Cord had? You recognize Just... you recognize uh, this symbol from. Uh, the cave of Corid. Wait, where did I? Where do I remember seeing this from? Like specifically? The cave. The, the, the cave. Yeah, but like, what were this? Like, he had it tattooed on. We... I thought he had it tattooed. Uh, he had it tattooed on. He had it carved into his head, into his forehead, and he also, and it was also like all around his main chamber and dotted around here and there. Within the cave. Okay. <sighs> well, there's uh, nothing else I can find here. I guess I'll, I'll creep outwards, shutting the door behind me. And I, I want to... Yeah, I guess I'll, I should leave this door open a bit. Okay. Just a bit cracked, like, just in case I need to get back in there and make it seem like I haven't left. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna move over here, and, uh, I wanna try to see if I can wait until... Like, how far do these footsteps get, exactly? Um, now that you're up to the door, uh, they don't go up to the door, they go a little bit of a ways, uh, beyond it, and then that's when they turn around and walk the other direction. Um... Like, they get to around here-ish? Like uh, it sounds like... give or take, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Fuck. I, uh, I'm gonna wait until he's, uh... And are these, wait, is this door right in front of me? Is this locked? Uh, you, you try like, it. Is there a lock on it? Like a... You try yeah. it, it is indeed locked. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna wait until he... He pisses off a bit, just a bit, you know, like until the footsteps get a bit further away from them. He's just uh, here, and then I want to try to unlock this door. Okay, okay. Uh, make a uh, make a few stools check for me, please. Okay. Are you proficient in few stools? I I don't I don't know. You get it as a rogue automatically, so yes. Then yes. Yeah, uh, you have advantage on it then. If you're proficient, God. you get an advantage on the check. How it is? Yeah, that's how it works. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Cool. <laughs> the door opens. Just a little bit. You peek in. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna peek in and see ya. And that's and that's where we're gonna jump over to the other group. All right. Thank you, Darren. That was that was fun. Uh, so, the rest of you. The rest of us. Yes. You. Uh, uh, I got back just in time. I was delivering cornbread. You awaken after a after a good night's sleep in the uh, uh, in the crab and fish. Uh, you'll feel well rested, uh, Balasar. You. You feel 
we feel better than you have in a very long time. You feel like you're you feel like you're ready to take on pretty much anything at this point. Um, yes, there was a reference to the fact you've leveled up. Um, metal, uh, you awake um, after having a dream similar to uh, the usual. Um, only this time different in some way. You uh, you saw what you normally see uh, in your dream, but this time it was different. It almost normally uh, in your dreams the creature that you can see appears docile. It appears to just be lying there completely still. Last night however it seemed different. You noticed it was while, most, while you have noticed a few nights it breathing in its sleep, most nights you'd be for, um, forgiven for looking at this thing and just thinking, that thing is dead. Last night was different. Last night it was definitely breathing, definitely alive. Oh no. And... <laughs> I see where this is going. S strangely twisted in some way. Um, you awake away, rather sharp pain in the back of your mind. Nothing too, uh, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, nothing too painful. Just a little niggling feeling in the back of your brain. You all head downstairs. Uh, you eat your breakfast and you drink your morning drink, whatever that may be. And You begin to discuss uh, the coming day's events. Lars, you you wake up on the makeshift bed that the Goliath has made up for you in the back of his forge. Uh, you wake to find uh, breakfast already prepared, and the Goliath just sat there eating some bacon and just in seemingly as foul a mood as usual cheerfully I'll be like ah good morning so uh did you have any problems last night nope You want me to make anything today, or should I uh, go ahead and head out with my friends? You go. You go. No, I won't need you today. Good work yesterday. Give him, you know, a slight, a slight nod and say, uh, "All right, I will be back later, probably." So, uh. I hope your hammering goes well today, too. Yep. Oh. Do you make any progress on the wagon, by the way? Yep. That's what I'm doing today. Final touches today. Should be done for you in the morning. Thank you. I'll let them know. You do that. Thanks. Gather my gear and stuff, and uh, 
head out for now. Okay. Uh, what do the rest of you want to do? Well, I'm going to look around and see if uh, uh, William Morley is here. Uh, you don't see him uh, at the moment. Uh, you get the feeling that he's uh, still asleep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, who all is here? Uh, you see the um, the young uh, man um, behind the bar. A uh, few few of the patrons from uh, the night before. The large man uh, from the night before who um, somewhat harassed. Uh, Luna during her story uh, you see just perched on the end of the bar just completely asleep well I guess I'll look to my fellow companions and say alright let's recap what are we doing today <laughs> not going in the sewer that's what we're not doing today hmm Anyone seen Daring? Uh, he's probably just stealing stuff again, who cares? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the last any of you saw Daring was... When was the last time any of you saw Daring? Oh, I saw him when he left, but that's yeah, it. I'm not yeah. There. yeah, I'm just trying to remember when the rest of them saw him. Uh, the bathhouse? No, no, the no, 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 them saw him at the bathhouse. Bath we would have been at the blacksmithing house before he ran off to do whatever he wanted to do. That's right. It was the. It was just after you came out the sewer, uh, the day before. None of you, uh, none of you at the um, at the crab and fish have seen him since. Well, on a serious out of character note, I completely forgot what we were actually going to do today. Supposed to go into the sewers. Uh, you, um, you decided to go have a long rest before making your way down into the sewer, if I'm remembering correctly. Ooh, uh, just point out, but before I left, I think I said that I was going to see everyone else. Then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. the last, the last, uh, any of you saw Darren was Lars at the blacksmith when you told him that the others had agreed to meet at the Crab and Fish that evening to discuss today's events. And he went off in that direction. And as far as you're aware, he got there. Interesting. Well, uh, I guess we'll just wait until Lars is here since he's the one who talked to Gerdrak. Question is, are you guys coming out to meet me, or am I going over there to meet you? I mean, heck, it's freaking nice and comfy. How's the weather today? I didn't know that they were at the the, the uh, whatever in fish. I was just looking around the city to check the taverns to find where they were. In fact, I checked the one outside and found that they weren't there, and then went into the oh, other yeah. one. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. So he doesn't know where they are right now. Like, I told him I was going to go get them, and then meet back up with him, so that we could all discuss what was going on, and then I seemingly just sort of disappeared or didn't yeah. show up again, so he doesn't, you know... That's right, that's right. Which is, oddly enough, not, uh, you know, not uncommon for you. To randomly disappear for a long period of time. <laughs> But yeah, no, I think Lars is our uh, our battle plan. We'll have to either find him or wait for him. I mean, you guys know where I am. Of course, but... To the blacksmith. Gonna... Yeah, I guess we're going to the blacksmith. <laughs> okay. Okay. You, uh... You make your way outside. Um, Does my head still like hurt persistently throughout all this? Uh, again, it doesn't. It doesn't hurt per se. It's just a minor annoyance. Like you know when, um, 
You know when you have a headache, but it's not really a headache? Like, yeah. it's just a, like, it's, like, essentially when you're, like, when you have an, when you have, like, a... Basically it's a when migraine you... migraine in the back of his head. Yeah, pretty much. When you, it's basically when, after, like, after you sleep on a really uncomfortable pillow. Basically. Huh. That's... I should check my pillow. <laughs> that sort of thing. Okay, but it is persistent, yeah? Uh, it's... It's niggling, but it fades. More or less as the day goes on. Interesting. I can tell you that much now. Okay. So, uh, you all make your way outside. Uh, Lars, I'm assuming you're making your way to the inner city. Uh, that depends on timing. You said breakfast was already ready when I was there? Yes. Um, between eating breakfast and putting on my armor, it probably takes, you know, 20, 30 minutes before I leave. Hmm. That's true. That's true. Okay. Okay. Uh, the rest of you make your way outside to the uh, town square. Um, the streets are strangely empty for this time in the morning. Uh, most of the time in your stay here at this point uh, the streets are already like bustling with people either heading to work or uh, heading out for breakfast or what have you how's the weather um cloudy very cloudy uh, I need all of you to make a perception check for me please perception You want to make one for Dia too? Oh yeah, shit. Forgot about her. <laughs> That's what happens when you aren't here. I know. Says Paul. Says Paul. Was about to say the same thing, Metal. <laughs> She'll hopefully be here later. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, you shut your bitch up. Now. I wish she'd be here right now. So I guess she got distracted with something else. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, okay, that's a 17 for her. Uh, I'll send her a quick message over Skype. Ooh, 22. Okay. Um. Hercus. You notice, uh, in, uh, does Tia see it too? Because she's very familiar with them. Yeah, yeah, she sees it. Uh, the two of you see a at the entrance to the square. You see um, a dagger lying on the ground. Oh hey, there's a dagger lying on the ground. Has he ever hey. used his dagger? Would we recognize it? Or would they? I don't think he's ever used it. Short battle. He's never Whatever, free dagger. dagger. He's never used his dagger? He uses a rapier in a short bow. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, you see a rapier on the ground. Retcon. Okay. <laughs> That's a slight retcon on my part, just because I got that wrong in my notes. And terribly so. Lying in the middle of the street or like free way rapier. Oh. Yep. Don't rape my ear. How far away is it? <laughs> it's uh it's in the entrance of the uh city square, so it's not that far away. Hmm. Again, I'm a I'm a peer around, make sure nobody's looking. Okay. <laughs> is anyone looking? <laughs> Um, again, the streets are relatively empty, um, the only, uh, um, the only people who seem to be looking in your direction are a, um, a pair of guards, uh, 
to the uh, south end of the uh, of the square. Okay. Down on the on the street that leads towards the temple. Well, this is gonna be a stretch, but I want to walk up to it within thirty feet, and I want to use a combination of mage hand and silent image, <laughs> and I want it to appear as I don't know a ferret or something really long walking towards me. And I'll be like, "Oh, look at this cute little ferret!" And I'm make it move with mage hand towards me. What the rapier? <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds weird, but I'm trying to be conspicuous, okay? So freaking, I'm just oh, look, it's a ferret. Silent image. Oh, look, it's coming towards me. I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, <laughs> make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> Not entirely sure why you're doing this, but okay. I mean, you just want to see anyone. He doesn't want anyone to see him pick it up. Yeah. He's <laughs> a thief. I'm not a thief. It's just a free rapier. But you know, maybe it's not free. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is a setup by the guards and it's bait. Oh, all the times to roll in that one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, that's beautiful. Um, you managed to um shift the um. Rapier into the shape of a rather long ferret, and <laughs> using mage hand, you manage to push it along in a way that makes it appear as though it's walking towards you. Oh heck yeah! When it gets to me, I'm gonna pick it up and put it in my bag. <laughs> okay, you manage to pick it up and you stow it away in your bag. Uh, how much does it weigh? Uh, rapier is actually not that heavy. Hang on, let me check. Oh wait, I know exactly how I can check. It is two pounds. Got yeah. it. Sweet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Lars. Uh, what are you guys doing after that? Actually, uh, probably just gonna continue out to the bl blacksmith's place. Yes. Okay. Cool. We will leave the city and never return. As you, uh, as you make your way uh, towards the uh, outer city, uh, you, the guards at the gate, stop you. Look you up and down. They call for the gate to be opened. The gate opens. You walk on through. The gates <laughs> slam behind you, and you find yourselves uh, amidst the uh, usual hustle and bustle of the outer city. Sweet. Glad they're starting to recognize us. We continue. Well, you've gone through that gate how many times now in the last two days? So <laughs> they pretty much know you on the spot. The you w carry on towards the blacksmith. Uh, as you make your way there, um, one of the guards uh, bumps into. Uh, you, Balasar, and mm -hmm. and you notice him slip something into your pocket. Do we all see this? Um, we... the rest of you make perception checks. Balasar, you don't need to. Do I recognize this guy? No, no. Ah. Uh. My perception's not working. Uh, twenty plus two. Oh wait, now it's working. Huh. Weird. <laughs> I'll take the seventeen. Because it was the first one. Okay. And a roll for Luna. Okay. Um 
Well, Metal and Luna see it. And uh, it is a small bit of paper. They just uh, kind of lock, but hazardly just slips into your pocket, Balasa. Uh -huh. Huh. What's that about? Uh, where's the guard going after he does that? Just guys on down the street, the opposite way from where you go. Okay. Interesting. Hey, can I look around and see if any of the guards are watching me? Um. They're mostly uh, looking all around. You do notice a few uh, occasionally glance back at uh, you lot. But for the majority, they're just. But for the most part, they're just looking around. Alright. I'm not gonna read the note yet. I'm gonna keep going to the blacksmith. Okay. Okay. You wanna make your way uh, to the blacksmiths, and you see uh, Lars uh, getting uh, changed back into his armor after having a nice hearty meal of bacon. And you see the blacksmith uh, in the back getting changed into his work outfit. Do we ever get his name? <laughs> no! No, you have not. <laughs> Lars is, live Lars is uh, currently staying with him, and none of you know his name. You haven't even asked it yet. <laughs> He's intimidating. I haven't gotten the name yet. asked him. <laughs> is his name not Goliath? I thought all tall people were named that. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Lars, good friend. Today is the day. Uh, yes, actually. I mean, our friend should be waiting down there for us, by the way. I don't know if he will be, but I couldn't exactly keep him here last night. Hmm. What do you mean? Well, short of tying him up and leaving him outside, I decided that I, I felt like he would probably show up since he wants to get back to his clan at this point. So I let him... Uh going back around the no. sewers. Yes. Huh. Well. Alright then. <laughs> well, if he's not there, I mean... It's kind of 50-50 whether or not we'd live or die going into that clan today. Mm. So we'll, we'll see if he's there. Out. We Lars, you immediately notice that Darren's not with them. Right. Considering how you sent him to find them the night before, mm -hmm. it sticks out like a sore thumb that he's not with them at the moment. I look around, like, as if I'm telling my head to look behind them. Mm. You, you didn't bring everybody. What happened to Derek? I don't know. Last I heard he was taking a bath or something. Is he not here? <laughs> well, he left last night to go find you guys. He oh. didn't do a very good job at it. Ugh, you just freaking had a party and passed out. That's strange. You think he's all just doing his rogue -ish shenanigans again, right? Maybe? More than likely. Rogash. Rogash. Your attempts at hip lingo are, uh, need some work. His, shenag his shenanigans are so rogue. Oh yeah, Lars, did you want me to keep carrying these books of yours, or should I leave them here? Uh, we can put them here, I mean... I'll look at Balasar and I'll say, uh... Do you have some books you might not want to take down to the sewer with you? Uh... I think I've been in enough sewers for... at least... eight lifetimes. <laughs> well, and I've been I, uh... covered in things that I've probably should never have been covered in. I go we inside and deliver the two go into that sewer again. I mean, we don't have to, but... I mean, it is only just a few things. Trinkets and stuff that we had, that they took. So 
So I just thought of a way to get myself out of going back in the sewer. I'm going to read this note that I got. Okay. What's this note say? You open the note, uh, and it just simply reads, We have your friend. Uh, come uh, to uh, come to the guardhouse in the inner city if you want to see him alive again. Signed, Davis Langley. Laughs, tears up note. Tempting. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna write down his name. Oh snap, we got his name. What was it? Is it an Davis actual Langley. signature or is it in print? Uh, this is an actual signature. Ooh, that could be useful. By the way, I have no idea what the fuck's happened to my icon. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's not turning up for me. So I have no idea what's going on with that. What icon? My roll 20 icon. Oh yeah, it is gone. That's weird. I have no idea. Huh. Maybe whatever you were having it hosted on killed it. So read the er, well, can I see this note, or did he read it out loud? I'm gonna read it out loud. Friend, do they have girth? <laughs> uh, let's, let's go see if girth is home real quick. Make sure he's still alright. Let's check right. on girth. Yes. Yeah, uh, let's, yeah, let's check on our bestest all- not quite a party member. Make haste. I I dash. Why are you dashing? What do you mean? Why am I dashing? He could be in danger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And run down the street yelling, "Girth!" I would have already had him. No, he get me. I'm gonna go at normal pace <laughs> because I can put two and two together. <laughs> okay. Uh, you uh, uh, you make your way to Gus, and you do indeed find him uh, still in the shop. Still there. Ah, oh, Girth, you made it out alive. Good work. I knew you could do it. Made it out of what alive? What is? Oh. What are you talking about? I'm guessing we're talking this behind him. Sorry. You weren't kidnapped by some guy named Davis. Langley? <laughs> Davis. Langley. Ah. Oh well, you've never heard it said, so it doesn't matter. Oh, we're all dead now. Oh, our we got Balazar said it anyways. <laughs> With a very thick accent that I cannot reproduce. <laughs> um, right, so. no. No, I wasn't. Um, I've never even heard of a man by that name. I'm sorry, but why? What's happened? <sighs> I stomp, take a breath, you know, calm down. <laughs> and then just look to him and say, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> About what time do we catch up since he was dashing? Uh, you're not that far behind him. Um, okay. due, to the, due to the busyness of the street, it's a little bit difficult for him to dash at full speed. So you, you manage to get there about... Twelve seconds later, at most. Okay. It's fine. But yeah, Metal, what were you saying? <laughs> he said, I don't know. Yeah, I just, I just stopped to take a breath and then just looked at him and said, I don't know. <laughs> well, Harris will show up and say, oh, good. I guess they weren't talking about you then, Gareth. As I look at Balistar, as to, you know, say... Gareth just looks at each of you in turn, extremely confused. What are you all going on about? What? Oh. What? What's happening? The officer seems to have some notes saying that our friend has been taken. Oh. Do you know which one? Well, that's a, I, my we first thought was of you, I mean, but uh... Oh, I'm touched. I'm touched. They, are they talking about that rogue? What rogue? <laughs> that rogue. the bald one. Oh, hmm. Darren's not with you. Hmm, I guess so. I guess so. But he is an odd one. He just seems to come and go as he as he pleases. Well, that's what we figured. But I guess if 
he didn't show up where he was supposed to last night. Maybe they actually do have him. Hmm. Let him rot, I say. <laughs> I guess you don't like him either then, right, Gert? Yeah. yeah. He's alright. He's alright. Just a little too bloodthirsty for my taste. Hmm. He's a bit too touchy with the merchandise, but he was perfectly fine when I invi when I invited him to my home yesterday, but... Oh, he was here yesterday? Yes, he was, actually. He, he came asking about a bath for some reason, but so I just invited him back to my home, uh... He was perfectly charming yesterday. It was that was strange. I mean, didn't you, you know, magic him last time he was here? Before that? Oh yes, 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 I did. But it might have something to do with that. Um, mm. On a side note, I've been in his back room. Would I know that there's not really a bath in this house? Yeah, yeah, you would. So he took up bath here? How did... Oh, how not here. Bath? Not here. Not here. No. Oh. Don't be daft. No, 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 no. I went... Ah. Fucking... Ow. Fucking book. What the fuck is it? Ugh. I went to my home back in Ebenheim. Ow. I teleported him there, and he took a bath there. Did he never get back? Oh no, no. I made I made sure that he got back. I wouldn't just leave him there. Can you imagine the nightmare someone not like him would do with all my equipment? No! Don't be daft! No, 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 no. I, I brought him back here and sent him on his way. Last I heard, he was going to find you lot. But... Evidently, that didn't happen. Huh. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess we might have to go, you know, find out where this Davis Lingley is. Hmm. <laughs> Well, if, if Gerdrak is waiting for us, f for some whatever reason, if he's waiting for us, we should probably let him know that we might go do something else real quick. And it's closer, I suppose. Doesn't it seem like seems pretty dangerous if they have the guards helping them. You don't know that. The, the guard, guard gave, put oh, the the note. Note. gave me the note. The note. Of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry. You, I don't know that. Sorry. 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 <laughs> It's just you've been talking about, like, the guards and everything, trying to be stealthy around the guards and stuff, and I'm like, none of you actually know that the guards attacked well, him. The, the only thing you... Handed it to yeah, me. that's the only thing you have. So, I was talking about before that. I was talking about before that. Yeah. That was just a delayed reaction. Between our last round and the guard, and now? Um... You mean back when uh, Dia had that encounter with uh, yeah. the Durga? Considering that was... At this point, about a week ago, and nothing's really come about of, out of it. Uh, Not really. So that's fine. It's pretty a long connection, and it might not even be true, so... Mm. I, I'm just curious. Uh, but yeah, the fact that one handed you the note is enough to go off the, the idea. That, look at Balazar's surprise. Be like, a card handed that to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that that was my girlfriend. Um, she just texted me to let me know that she's finished work, and she's wondering if we finished or not. Not quite. <laughs> nope. Well, I guess let's go back to your track then, and see if he's actually down there real quick. I need a few things first from Gareth. You do that. I'm not staying over in the sewers. So I'm just going to go, you know, at least get down the ladder and look around a little bit. So, try heading off that way. Okay. 
I'll join them. So, who's going where? Uh, uh, Dia doesn't get along with him, so she's staying. And then her just needs to decide, and that's it. I'll just send I'll just send Dia off with whoever has. Yeah, I think Hercus will stay because uh, let's stay with Balasar. So wait, Hercus, are so you not here? Uh, he is, but he can't see down there, so he'd probably just stay. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I, yeah, I know that Hercus is just being quiet over there. Yeah, we should definitely take the goat down there again. It was a great um, idea. The Die. sewer, yeah. Um, that. If we have a place where, if we have a place where I, where we can keep Sir Goat's worth, then my helmet is the image of a goat's head. I can still do magic stuff with it. All right. Magic. Since you couldn't see down there, there wouldn't be much point in going over. But I guess you can come over if you want to. In case I fall. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, I feel my healing would be quite useful to you. <laughs> yeah, I guess if they do jump us, we need someone to get us out of there. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So, Luna and Balasar, and then us three. Okay. Okay. Uh... We'll deal with the uh, ones who are going to the sewer first. You make your way uh, back to the sewer entrance from the day before. Uh, you uh, make a strength check to open it for me, please. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Grr. Okay. Not much help this time. <laughs> uh, Lars, you attempt to pull it up. However, Metal just pushes you aside, stretches a little bit, and then just pulls the uh, lid off uh, the sewer and just moves it aside. You look down, and uh, you uh, do indeed see a small rat-like creature sat huddled at the bottom of the ladder does he see us as the as the great moves he looks up notices you oh 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 finally where have oh, you snap it's actually him where have you been i've been waiting down here i thought you were coming down as soon as as soon as you all found each other, I thought you were coming down. Where have you been? I I only just got off a little while ago, Kerchak. I'm sorry. Uh, though something has come up, our bald friend seems to be missing, and he will not be missed. The one who tried to kill me. Yeah. Yep. Allegedly. Leave him to die. It's just not really my kind of thing, you know. Yeah, we but, love uh, you more than him. Considerably. He doesn't love you at all, really. He did try to do what I asked him to. Which is more than any of you did. Um, we'll drop his short sword down there. Okay, if you have come across any trouble, let me know. But uh, we, we, might be, we might be a little while. Not part of deal. Sorry. I mean, we discussed this the other day. We only need one or two people to go in, really. I wish to split for that. <laughs> he uh, he picks the short sword up out of the out of the sewer water before it's carried away. And looks it over. Mm. Still not part of deal. Well, once everyone's back together, we'll go with you. I don't know. I mean, it was just going to be me and someone else going. 
just had to go to defend him along the way. And then only two of us are going in to the city once we get there. It can't be that bad. Yeah, that's what the plan was. Hmm. Fine. Fine. Don't be long. I'll try and make it as quick as possible. We love you, Gerdrak. And start moving the grate back over. <laughs> you, you move the grate over and cover uh, and cover it and you and I'm s and now what I guess we head back and freaking start retracing daring steps yeah. oh, no wait no freaking go and go and meet with the guard or something yeah okay okay uh, you make your way uh, are you collecting the others before you do that Yes. Yeah, we're stopping at Girth, of course. Okay, okay. You make your way back to Girth's. Um, and he's just simply talking about stuff to Balasar and. I think Balasar was trying to buy something, so. I in fact, was trying to buy several things. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, shit. My Roll 20 appears to have crashed. Can you all I still hear me? Oh, sorry. Yes. I hate fine. It's the whole... Oh! There you go. Oh, oh there, there we go. go. I wasn't sure if it was my internet or what. Uh. So. You all... Uh, go into... So, that's that. Yes? Are you looking for anything in particular? Right. Uh, do you have a brass brazier? A brass brazier. It's for the fine familiar spell, which is a wizard spell. Mm, I, I know. know. I know. I think so. A moment. Hmm. Brass brazier. Walks over to one of his shelves. Looks at it for a second. Mm -hmm. Ah! Here we are. You are in luck, young Balasar. Now, then. The brass was here. Sets it on the table. It's a relatively small one. Um, it's big enough for what you want it for. Now, uh, I think the last time I did something like this, it was like basically a custom-made like goblet size thing. But this sounds like it's you know five to ten pounds size out of it. Uh, Could be like a small three pound one, you know? Hang on, let me check the actual size of a brass brazier, which is not in the book. That's useful. Um, <laughs> I'm making a custom one. <laughs> uh, I'd say, yeah, it'd be about five or so pounds. Um, so, yeah, looks like you, this will be around, one gold piece. Alright, I also need a varying amount of charcoal, incense, and herbs. It just says ten gold worth of all three. Is it just, ten each or ten total? Uh, ten gold piece. Uh, um, I'd say it's ten gold in total. Yeah. Personally. Uh, price is also not in the book. Have fun. <laughs> Great. 
Just knock off ten gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want more than one lot. I'm not hoping this thing dies anytime soon, so I'll just do one. Okay. And I also need a pearl that needs to be at least worth a hundred gold and an owl feather. Actually, I, I probably... Yeah, I have the owl feather, actually. Never mind. Uh, the pearl that needs to be at least 100 gold. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything like that in stock. That I'm afraid you're going to have to find on your own. The herbs and the, the herbs and everything I can help you with, no problem. But sure. The pearl. Oh, it's a pearl for sure, because you're identifying. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it's for. I know it's for. Don't worry. The pearl, I'm afraid, I can't help you with. Lightsabers, audibly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. She's had a bit to drink, and she's uh, currently doing the pub quiz, so... <laughs> uh, do But yeah, anyway. Do you know of any gem shops in this town? Um, gem shops. Gem shops. Any jewelry store. Um. Well, the closest thing I can, the closest thing to that I can think of would be, uh, the, um, there was a stall in the market yesterday. Of well, not they're here today. I wouldn't be able Holy to tell shit, you. I'm here. Oh snap! Hallelujah! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! I have completely <laughs> forgotten. Smooth. Wow. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's you fine. It. It's fine. Like, we went through like three epic battles. Oh, like a giant shit. dragon came out of nowhere. You're only an... Oh shit! You're only an hour and a half late. It's fine. Only. All right. <laughs> and it's fine. It's fine. It's not like I'm planning on finishing this in half an hour. Yes, it's a very short episode. This week, uh, simply to make up for the long ass episodes that have been over the last few weeks, and due to the fact that I have lectures tomorrow, so yeah. Nice. Sorry for not being here. It's fine. Anyway, honey, it's fine. Continue. All that's happened is that we realized Darian has been taken because there's okay. a note, and you were hanging out with Dallasar while he was trying to buy some stuff. From yeah, and you. Okay. Happen. Everything else you missed, uh, you wouldn't know about anyway, because that was all stuff relating to Darren, so that's fine. Cool. Darren, you're fucked, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we initially thought, we got the note, we thought it was Girth that was stolen at first, so we ran over to him. <laughs> Which didn't nice. make any sense, because you got my fucking rapier. Oh, this is your ra- nah. No, I don't recognize this rapier. No, it was just lying on the street. Why- why would you let anything go, David? Figured you'd put two and two together once you got the note. Nah. No, what are you talking about? Our friend's still here. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that would be, uh -huh. um, it's no longer in the form of a ferret, unfortunately. <laughs> Ten minutes has passed, I'm afraid. Aww. Um, but yeah, uh, Luna, you know full well about the jewelry store that, um, Balsar just asked about because you were there cool. yesterday. Um, so you just inform him nice. of that. Um, Gurf then tells you, is there anything you want, my dear? Uh, no, nah, man, I'm good. I just, I came out of this weird, lucid state <laughs> where I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> so, like, I'll. I'll get back to you on that, maybe, like, I don't know, later. <laughs> very well, very well. You're acting very, very strange today. Some mm. shit's gone down, man. I just, 
I'm thinking about some stuff. You, you know, you know how it is. Yes, yes. At this point, the rest of you would arrive back. Uh, his considering the amount of time he spent looking for the brazier and all that stuff. Um. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of you arrive back mm -hmm. at his stool. Shop, sorry. Uh, we, uh, we let everyone know that Gerdrag is in fact waiting for us. Fucking, you mean that asshole who, like, tried to beat me up? And then we scared him off? No, what? no. No, no not person. that ass. Oh, no. God. Wait, that was his name. Aw, oh, shit, man. Gerdrag is the wear rat. Retcon that. <laughs> Retcon that. That never happened. Don't worry, we've already had one retcon this session, it's fine. <laughs> Alright. Racist, never. All rogues don't use daggers. <laughs> I I swear he's used his daggers before, but whatever. I know I know that his main rapier rapier, so it's fine. it's fine. I've it's fine. only used my rapier. He okay. acquired mostly bow, actually. Daggers. Mm. Yeah, I've never actually seen you use your rapier. If he uses a dagger, uh, it'll be in his offhand as an offhand attack. Yeah. Anywho, anywho. Right. So, Gerdrak's actually there and he's waiting for us, but he allowed us to go check with the guards and see what's going on. And, uh, I guess they want you specifically, Balasar, maybe. Are we actually going to rescue him? Rescue him? No, I just want to know what's going on. That goes hand in hand. If we're going to go find out what's going on, we're probably going to be rescuing him. Or his I'm course. sure he can rescue himself. He might be able to. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Um, totally not in any kind of danger. That we would care about anyway. I guess in that case, uh, if we're gonna go over there, which, I mean, I prefer not leaving the guy or whatever's going on with him in particular. I would rather leave some things here that I don't intend to take with us. Would that be fine, Gert? Oh, um, yes, yes, it, it depends what it is, really. Why, what are you thinking of leaving here? No, spare weapons, my gold pouch. This backpack stuff, maybe, that I shouldn't have with me. I can certainly look after them. Why would you leave that here? My, wait, what? Why would you leave those things here? Because... I mean, the one they, they took him. My, you know, hand more stuff to our enemies if they prove to be stronger than we think they are. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait okay. Let me reread this note. And I, I gesture to Balazar. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me take a look at it again. What does it say? Um... We have your friend. Meet us uh, at the uh, meet us at the guardhouse uh, in the inner city. If you wish to see him uh, alive again. Okay. Signed, okay. So. Dallas Langley. But do we really want him alive? So I think there's a misunderstanding here, Lars. You're thinking they're holding him hostage. They clearly just caught him grabbing stuff and are either gonna freaking execute him if he can't pay up, which we know he's not gonna pay up. So it, this is essentially a note from him asking us to. Well, a note from them asking us to go there and pay his bail. There's no hostile intentions, surely. He's got, like, 300 gold coins on him, though. Last I checked. Well, yeah, but he's never it's gonna pay, even if his life is on it. Oh, I just uh, took it from him. That doesn't make sense, Metal. Why would... Wouldn't... Girth, you know the name of the guard captain, right? No, he didn't. Who does he know? I never heard of that name. Well, then... This... This is just a simple bail. In fact, all of us don't even need to go. Uh, I think this is more of a getting a kid from a daycare center where they did a bad job, and I feel all of us as, um, a team, question mark, kind of acts as his guardians, kind of, where we have to make sure he doesn't fuck up royally anymore after, you know, the whole book ending the world situation. You should have well, asked that note for a reversal book. 
cupcake. Oh, all I know is I feel safer with my gold left with Girth, or at least in his care. Because I agree. I'm not paying for Daring's bail. Yeah, neither am I. He's got his own money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, that sounds reasonable, I guess. I'm yeah, fine maybe to keep all of your gold if you want. Thank you. Will we be getting it back after we return? <laughs> <laughs> Depends yeah, how much I... you leave. Uh, I mean, I just, like, stuff my little coin pouch inside my backpack and sent my backpack somewhere Yo, along with, uh... Can I, like, stuff my shit in your backpack, too? It's only a gold pouch. <laughs> Would you mind? She travels huh? light. <laughs> I really do. Oh, you're a monkey, you uh, don't really need that much stuff. I mean, uh, if you were traveling light because of money issues, uh, buying a sack is the best option. Well, because, no, it's like, not really because of money issues. There's just not much I want to buy, and there's not much I need to buy. Okay. Well, I leave my Warhammer, my Lance, and my backpack full of some shit. <laughs> Wait, That's you're leaving... That's a move, considering that Lance is massive. You're leaving that behind. You're leaving that, I guess. My magic longsword with me. Okay, okay. Let me just make a note of that very quickly, then. Just, yeah. uh... I'm just gonna make a note of all the shit you're leaving behind at Gaffs. So, let me just get to the page. Here we go. So, Gurf currently has in the case of Lars money uh, the spear and the, and the hammer, yeah? That's a lance, not a spear. Whatever. Yeah, it's a bit different. Whatever. We uh, know what you mean, though. Yeah. Uh, who else is leaving stuff? Uh, I'm gonna leave my gold, my short bow, and my ring. Luna is leaving gold. This is for going in the sewer, right? No, we're going uh, to the garden. Bow. Bow. Yeah, threaten no. Daring's life, one way or another, whether it's punishment yeah. or. Otherwise, we're going, we're going to pay his bail. This, uh, we're more we're, like negotiate his bail because none of us are paying for him. <laughs> if he did I'm, this, we're just leaving him in there. If he actually stole something, we're leaving his ass in there. Yeah, yeah they give a note instead of just coming. I mean, to they're gonna exactly. execute him if we, if we leave him, and See, then we kind of need him, you know, kind of. But the thing is, like, that's the whole thing with the whole oh. him stealing stuff. Like, why would they come to us? That's what I'm a bit why? confused about. Like, why? Because they would just be able to steal the gold they need off of them. But why would they come specifically no, for no, no, us? No, that would that would be illegal. <laughs> See, uh, but as the um, amazing yeah. chivalry these guards have already shown us, I really doubt they're above that. Yes. Anyways, so is what anyone do is anyone leaving yeah. anything else behind? I will. Uh, Garth, you're the only one I can really trust with these, since if this doesn't go well, I don't want these books falling into any hands except mine, or maybe yours. Maybe. Eventually. Oh gosh, freaking Darren gets caught and you're all pissing your pants. He takes, he takes the books, uh, extremely carefully. Oh, wait, okay. why is everyone dumping their stuff off? Stuff off at Gertz? Because okay. we don't want our shit being taken to pay for your bail. Because bail. Gertz, I can trust being able to protect these books, and I want these books. Because one, I'm like encumbered of shit, and two, Balazar is carrying like two fifteen hundred gold books or something like that with him. Mm. Five. Five. Were they yeah. five hundred each? But the. What Oh, the worth of the books and take them from you to sell them for bail, or, um, I don't think you can... We're not paying your bail. I, no, I'm no, just saying, no. there is no bail. We're sure that they won't steal okay. from us to pay <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, bail. if there was bail, right, would you even be able to pay it with items? Wouldn't you have to pay it would in gold? gold? I mean, a valuable enough shit, though. man. Is gold... Have a layaway system? <laughs> is bail even a thing here? Fucking, we don't know. I That's why we're I making mean, sure. 
Yeah, they're it's, either going to um, execute you or get no some money. No matter what the bail is, we're not paying it, so we're yeah, just leaving some things behind that we don't need to take. No, what I'm saying is, like, is bail a thing? Yes, it is. In this world. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, right. um, but yeah, uh, Garth takes the books from you, Balasar, uh, with absolute extreme, like, caution not to drop them. Like, he... He literally takes them as though you're handed him a newborn baby. <laughs> really? I would just chuck babies across the room. Wow. God dang drone. I don't like children. Are you culture leaving... is so confusing. Are you leaving anything else, Bowser? Uh, no. Okay. Is anyone else leaving anything? Mm. Paul was trying to see something, but you're kind of drowned out. Uh, yeah, Paul, are you leaving um, Sir Goatsworth? Yeah, yeah. For safety purposes, because this does seem somewhat fishy, I'm, I'm cons I should probably leave the goat behind. Oh. It's stable at the end. Okay. <laughs> um. As you hand over the uh, um, the rope, goat. To uh, uh, Gav. Gav looks at it a little bit tentatively. Like, okay, I yes, I'll look after your goat. Um, <laughs> please hurry back. Please. I'm up outside or something. He doesn't have to stay in here. Buzz, I'll take as much time as you need. But, Hercus, please. Coming back. Hey. Uh, he just wants to read those books. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I mean, no worry. Book, but... I expect to read yours for free. No worries. I, That's I'm a fair deal. That's a fair deal. <sighs> so you're not leaving Sega as well? Um, I'm not, well... I'm not leaving, abandoning him. I'm leaving him there, but I'm not going to lie. I'm going to come back for him. So Ghostwrap looks a little bit confused, a little bit hurt that you're having him over to this man that you've seen, that he's seen you buy equipment from in the past. He looks a little bit like, Are you selling me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can, you, can you give me ten minutes to make sure... <laughs> Sir Goatsworth knows I'm not selling him. <laughs> I need ten minutes too to uh, burn some things in this brazier. Yeah, I start. Sure. I start the okay. ritual for talk to animals. Okay. So I don't scare the. Sh I don't terrify my goat. You, uh, you both uh, take the required amount of time to uh, perform the ritual. Um. What is the familiar appearing as Balazar? It's gonna be a lizard. Okay. Okay. Gotta any with the theme? Any particular type? Uh. I guess we'll go. It's celestial. Okay. So it's, it celestial gets three lizard? types. Lizard? Yeah. Yep. The spirit summoned as in the shape of a lizard, and it's celestial type. Uh, and Harkus. Uh, you perform the ritual, and immediately you just hear uh, Sir Goatsworth's voice in your head. You say, "Please don't sell me." Don't Please. worry, I'm not. Don't. Don't worry, so Goatsworth, I'm not selling you. Uh, although I am going to a potentially dangerous place, and I want you to be safe for the duration of this, because I don't know what's going to be going on. I have been charged with protecting you. And and I'm supposed to protect you too. And part of that is making sure that you do not get killed. <laughs> Make a persuasion <laughs> check. <laughs> You're really trying to get Goatsworth killed. All you gotta do is say, remember the sewer, and then freaking... Alright, yeah, on. that's a good point. 
That's a good point that M Metalamir has made. Remember what happened in the sewer? Let me make a persuasion check here. Persuasion. Okay. I'm not even going to bother rolling for him, because I know for a fact he can't beat that. Actually, he might get a nap 20, so... Persuasion is charisma. He has charisma, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, but not <laughs> enough. So, uh, he... Uh, Roll for the goat. I have. Don't worry. He looks. He looks at you for a second. Very well. Please be safe, my friend. I'll do my best. May Charles bar in your general direction. <laughs> and and may he bar in yours as well. <laughs> He, uh, he rubs up against your leg slightly as you hand uh, the rope over to Gareth who takes it and just holds it out at arm's length. <laughs> Anything he eats, I'm charging uh, you for. <laughs> Agreed? Uh, I agreed. Fair enough. <laughs> Keep him oh, away God. from the box. <laughs> no worry, I, I will. I will. And before he eats the box. And... Yeah. Is anyone else leaving anything? Our dignity. <laughs> so. Uh, you've all handed over your stuff. To Gurth. Uh, Balasar's new lizard familiar is sat on his shoulder, I'm assuming. Oh, yes. I want to know his name. What's the familiar's name? Why, but yes, what is its name? Does it give itself a name or do I name uh, it? Name it. Yeah, you can name it. It's so familiar, fuck it. Uh, that's a secret. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I, what are your rules for additional familiars? Like uh, familiars that aren't actually on the list in the spell. Um, so long as they're within reason, I have no problem with it. I mean, going balance right, he'd probably want a pseudo dragon, which is another tiny little dragon thing. That's that's that's, up to him. that's perfectly fine. To be honest. I wanted to sit on my shoulder, goddammit. Pseudo dragons can <laughs> sit on your shoulder. Pseudo dragons okay. are literally uh, the same size as a normal lizard. They're, they're slightly bigger than mice. Okay, then. I just went for the list that was in roll 20. Mm. Anyway. What are the differences between lizard and pseudo? Pseudo dragons can fly. Yeah, fly, dark vision, 7 health instead of 2. And as long as it's next to you, you technically have magic resistance. Yep. Alright, fine. I'll take it. And I have its name. And it can be toothless. It can, <laughs> it can also uh, telepathy with your allies, too. They're, they're awesome little things. Okay. Uh, you... Make your way, you will make your way out of the uh, uh, gas store. And, and go where? Suddenly assaulted by a huge dragon. Uh, wherever the note is, which I hand it back to him. The guard tower, I think. It Taking was? that note. The guard house. There's some guard house somewhere, apparently. Guess we should look for it. Wait, does Girth know where the Girth the Girth Tower is? <laughs> the Girth House. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll poke our heads in real quick and ask, oh yeah, where's the where's the guard house from here? Oh, um that would be in the in the city, I believe. I'm not entirely sure where, though, I'm afraid. You're better as a You're better to ask in there. Yeah, we'll ask. Thank you. <laughs> Just ask one of the guards. I'm sure they know. Yep. 
Okay. You all head off. And... Time to go semi, maybe, save Daring, who knows? Time to bail out some butthole. We're not bailing him out! <laughs> and we will see, and as you all make your way outside of Guff's uh, shop with new leads, new information, and ever so slightly less equipment, that's where we're going to end today's session. Uh, again, sorry for the sorry for the shortness, but I need to be up in the morning. So, and it is sorry for me missing half of the session. Yeah, well, that's your fault. Because <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's completely my fault. I just, it completely forgot. It's fine, it's fine. Just don't forget next week. Um, hey, at least I show up to all sessions. That's true. That is true. I don't think you've missed a session so far. No, so. I have uh, thank you everyone for watching this much shorter episode. Again, I apologize for the length, and but yeah, um, I suppose some pretty important stuff happened. So, uh, see you all next week, and thank you all for watching. Ta ta.